hi everyone so in this video let's see this up and running so here we have all our mutations like we have defined create user update user at least create post update post create comment and update comment we can focus on these right and what we are doing is we are getting this db from the context so th this is where we are passing the db as a context here th this place is something where you can pass the database connection some mock data and some global data which you want to publish to all the query and mutations so this, this db is available in the context so if you go to any mutation in this context argument you can get the data source so here we are destructuring with the db db.users db.post db. comments this is how we can access the data so these are the sum of we have written like update user create user right now if we just try to run this and try to test it it's plain and simple uh, we'll open our browser this is altair as a client right and this is how we are specifying our payload so if you go to all our query and mutation first of all refresh this so your document gets updated it can fetch the latest definition these are the queries and this particular these are the mutations like create user, update user, create post, update post, delete post, create comment, update comment, delete comment. Okay. If we just simply start with this uh, delete user, okay, it is also giving us the ID. And if we simply start with this uh, mutation, which is create user, right? In create user mutation, we have to pass this data, right? This is what it is looking for. This is the this contains the name, email, and age because the create user input has these properties: name, email, and age. So we have to pass them. Uh, we don't want it to get the posts and comment information. So let's run this, and uh, this email is already taken. So it's like a validation error, right? Uh, and we are not doing any email validation errors. Email validation. So if I run this now, this will start coming. Okay, now I can go and try to fetch the list using query, which is like give me all the users. And here I don't want it to pass any particular ID or password. And in the post, I wanted to get the ID. Here also I wanted to get the ID. We can't return null for no nullable field query dot users. Okay. So first of all, let's see this users. Okay, it, we, we need to pass some argument here in the query. If we go and check our query for the users, it is accepting this query as an argument. And then what we are doing here is okay. Some code is not updated. This should be a database because now we started passing the DB and it should be db.users, right? And this is how it is going to be. This is a little bit old code. Here we are going to get DB and we are going to filter out based on db.posts, okay? Similarly for the comments and all. Now what we are doing here is just save it so this server can restart. Okay. So here either we can pass query which says okay I am looking for this particular user having this title and just run it there is no any user right. So these all are query and mutations. Mutations like you can also do the create post and all. In the create post, if you see what argument we are need to pass, create post payload. Here you need to pass a lot of arguments, right? Title, body, published author. And if any of the argument you are passing wrong, let's say first is title. Uh, why it's not coming? Okay, it should be an object first. And then you will say title, something uh, in the title, then body, something in the body. And we have published which is I think a boolean flag true and then we have author which is author id 
okay if i try to publish this now then it got, got published we have author id is a valid author id we can still do the testing it will create a new one but if you wanted to update then you can use this id right and you can update the title and body let's say this update right in update we are going to pass the ID which is the created post ID and the data data can be these properties without author ID published and this we can trigger we don't want to populate these properties for now and this is updated right we can just pass whatever we want the garbage values or something and it will update that okay so this is all about the query and mutation the mutations we have written we are able to test all the mutations here right now next thing we are going to talk about subscription okay few things we have to update in our code while doing a query is now we are using the db so you can access this db from the context like db.post db.user db.comments okay Next thing is subscriptions like uh, you wanted to subscribe a change happening on the comments whenever the new comment is added in the blog post I should I should be able to take a particular action right so let's talk about the subscription in, in the next video.